Tomorrow is my 25th wedding anniversary and what better way to celebrate but with cake. I'm going to teach you how to make Belizean white cake or light cake. You're watching The Bear Pantry Show. When making cake, the first thing you want to do is set the oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then you start mixing your ingredients. I have all the ingredients pre-measured because it's just easier when baking if you could just have everything pre-measured in, in different bowls so that you don't forget to put in one of the ingredients. So here we have some butter and this is uh, one and one eighth cup. If you don't have a one eighth cup, like this little guy right here, you can replace that with two tablespoons. So it would be one cup plus two tablespoons of butter. And then we have some sugar and this is just regular white sugar and this is two and three quarter, uh, two and one thirds rather. See, I, I left the one third here for you to see that that's one third, two cups plus a third. Then I have two and a half cups of flour. I have my little secret ingredient right there, pineapple extract. I have five whole eggs. I've got a tablespoon of baking powder, not baking soda. And I've got here some evaporated milk, any brand will do. And look at my little measuring cups, they're color they're color coded because that just makes it easier for me to know which cup I'm using. So we're going to start by adding the sugar and the butter to my KitchenAid right here. If you don't have a KitchenAid, because this was given to me back in 1991 by my, my uncle Les who's since passed away in 2002 and it's still going strong. If you don't have this you can use um, just a, um, a hand mixer and I'll show you what one of those looks like. This is a hand mixer you would have to stand there and hold it while it whips the egg and the um, or creams the butter and the sugar. But with the KitchenAid, that's a hands-free one. So let's measure our butter. And if you haven't picked up one of my book yet, I'm going to do you the favor and I'm going to try to put this recipe at the end of the video if I can. So I put the butter in and the butter is like room temperature, it's softened but not in the microwave. You don't want to measure butter or shortening ever, that's the oven telling me it's ready, it's preheated. You don't want to measure that ever to where it's soft and, and liquidy because then you're going to get a wrong measurement. So here's the sugar. And what we're going to do is get the foot for our KitchenAid and we're going to lock it in and start. The foot that we're using is the flat one for batter, okay? So we lock it in and we put it on one at first and we're going to move it to like two and we're going to keep working to make sure the butter and sugar gets creamed really well. When I add the egg so that's about 15 minutes. We're going to add the five eggs. Here's our baking powder. Now this thing should really have like a lid, but it didn't come with one, so we managed. As you can tell, this machine's kind of noisy, so I can't talk so much above it. So I paused it for a minute to show you that we have all those ingredients added already. And the last bit of ingredients we're going to add is our secret ingredient, which is pineapple extract. Pineapple extract. A lot of people use lemon, but this is our little secret at the Bear Pantry Show. We're going to use pineapple. It's going to smell so good. People are going to want to know what's in this cake. Then we're going to add the flour like this a little bit at a time and mix. And then when that flour is mixed in, we add a little bit of milk at a time, but we're going to get all this flour and all this milk. So when we turn the camera back on again, you're just going to keep seeing it adding, but I'm not going to speak because I don't want to compete above this machine. To bake the cake, you want to use a greased and floured pan. And this is a non-stick pan too. This is going to be three layers. And all I did was add a little bit, I, I put the butter all around real good, lavishly greased. I put some flour in. You kind of do this around. If you don't know how to do this without making a mess, do it like what I'm doing. Dropping it back in the flour bucket. 
Look at our beautiful cake batter. This is just a spatula that I'm using to stir it some more. See it's thick? It's not too thin because if your batter is too thin, your cake will fall. And if your batter is too thick, your cake will fall in the middle. That's the rule of thumb. So I have three layered pans. See they're not too tall. And I have two little Easy Bake Oven pans that I save. We always do this as a sample and give this to Joe because Joe absolutely hates cake with any kind of frosting on it. So we're going to pour the batter in all three pans and then we're going to get it in the oven. Right. You want to even it off with your spatula. And there's no real rule of thumb. One cake could be fatter than the other cake, but you want to try to eyeball it and get it as even as you can. And this is going to bake for about 35 to 40 minutes in the oven. And then I'll come back and show you when we're getting it out of the pans. Here are our beautiful layered cakes. One, two on the cooling rack. One on this beautiful dish that I was given yesterday for my 25th anniversary. Here's the lemon curd. Go view my video on lemon curd to learn how to make this filling right here for the cake. So we're just going to put it in between the layers of the, of the cake. And here we have the little bitty one that's for Joe, because he doesn't like frosting on his. On top of this, we're going to put the boiled milk frosting. But this is basically Joe's. He's going to have the filling. He's going to have his little cake. And look how pretty this is. This was baked in an easy bake oven pan. So I'm going to go ahead and put more of the lemon curd here and stack the cake. And in a minute, I'll show you how to frost it. Look at our beautiful cake. I'm putting the Eagle Brand milk, and you can go watch my video about making this boiled milk for to see what I feel about Eagle Brand versus some of the other brands. And I'm not promoting a brand. I just like this one because it goes on so thick on the top. I have the lemon curd in the middle. I'm going to put the milk on the sides. This is the one that I showed you before that was uh, store bought that was already boiled. See how stiff this is? I'm not even going to try to put it on my cake before it crumbles my cake. This is the Nestle brand, the same La Lechera, but I boiled it myself. It's not too bad, but sometimes this come out real um, thin and more like liquid. So we put on this edge of the cake like this, and this is how we frost the cake. We call this, the, the cake underneath is white cake, but once you start adding the milk to it, we call it milk cake. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at my beautiful cake. Let's face it, I'm not the best spreader of cake person in the world, but isn't this so gorgeous? And we're going to cut a piece of this. And I don't usually taste the food when I'm cooking it on camera because I really can't talk and eat. At the same time, I'm going to bite my tongue, but I'm going to have to cut a piece of this, show you how the moist the cake looks inside, and show you how the lemon curd looks in the middle, and then I'm going to take a bite. Got our beautiful piece of cake. And the reason why I turned the first cake bottom side or top side down on the platter is because when you cut it, I don't want any ugly side to the cake. This is all moist cake right here. We have the curd in the middle. You can put milk in the middle too, but we have the curd. And there's the milk on all that side of it. So we cut a chunk of our cake out. And now for a taste. Happy to show you that while I was doing this cake, my books arrived and they were in stock. Go to the Bear Pantry Show. That, go, I'm sorry, BearPantryShow.com to pick up a copy for you and your friends. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'm going to eat my cake. <laughs>